Hi and welcome to the 17th stage of this year's Tour de France. Today the race will bring us from Gap to Pinerolo. It's four major climbs on, on today's schedule and it will be another tough day for the riders. It's the last day before the Alps starts for real. Tomorrow we will head up to Galibier and the final battle for the general classification will begin. But on today's stage it was a breakaway. And it was again Alexander Kolobnev who got up in front of the peloton. He got company from Samuel Dumela from Kofferis and Leonardo Duke also from Kofferis. And on the first mountain sprint of the day it was Alexander Kolobnev from Katusha who captured 5 points in front of Leonardo Duke who captured 3. Then came Samuel de Mola who captured 2 points and it was Thomas de Gant from Vacon Soleil who captured 1. On the second climb of the day it was Alexander Kolobnev again who captured 10 points. Then came David Munkutia sprinting up from the peloton and captured 8. Behind him came Thomas de Gant from Vacon Soleil who captured 6. Then came Linus Gerdeman who captured 4. Josh Postuma from Leopard who captured 2. And Monfort who captured 1. All those 3 was from Leopard track. Now it's time to end our recap footage and tune in live on today's stage of the Tour de France where Alexander Kolobnev is still out in front with over 6 minutes down to the peloton. Hi and welcome back, we are now live, Alexander Kolobnev got 40 kilometers left to the peloton and they are 7 minutes and 2 seconds behind. Is it looking a little more brighter for uh, Alexander Kolobnev today, Jim? Well, definitely better today than uh, yesterday's stage, and he almost got the stage win, so uh, I'm pretty sure that he will uh, he will get this victory today, uh, unless he cracks on the, on the last climb there. Yeah, that would be uh, that would would be uh, kind of unfortunate for him uh, fighting for the stage win. Uh, he was so close yesterday, so maybe he's just riding on pure adrenaline today. Well, yeah, adrenaline, or maybe something else. Who knows, he has been looking strong so far in the Tour de France, uh, like we said, uh, really close uh, yesterday and he got 34 kilometers left and the peloton are pretty much out of it, I don't think they can uh, catch him now. So let's look a little bit uh, on the general classification, it's a final climb um, pretty close to the finish line, then it's a descent down to the finish. Very just, steep descent. Yeah, just like yesterday, so could we see some attack? Attacks? Uh, definitely some attacks before uh, the top of that climb and uh, perhaps we can see a fight in the downhill where uh, the best uh, downhill riders of the GC contenders will battle it out uh, and maybe get away from the other favorites and uh, then maybe a big group will chase them. We just have to wait and see really. Yeah we have to and uh, Samuel Sanchez didn't use any efforts uh, yesterday with, uh, with the attacks and everything so could he maybe try to get away uh, as the you know, the, the finish line is much closer today and, and, the, and the climb is not as long as yesterday. Is this a stage for Samuel Sanchez maybe? Yeah. Not, not for the stage win, but you know, time gaps yeah. in the general classification. It, it, it should be, because uh, he's uh, one of the best downhill riders in the world. And uh, as you said, it's much closer to the finish today than yesterday. And it's m much steeper. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also a smaller road um, with, a lot, with a lot of turns. So it should definitely suit uh, Samuel Sanchez. I think he will attack before uh, before the top of the climb. Yeah, so that was Jim's predictions for today, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so uh, what about Cat Evans, though? He's 134 uh, behind Andy Schleck and a much better, better time trial rider. So he's also pretty good downhill. He's proven himself over the years to be a good downhill rider. Could he maybe join Samuel Sanchez if Samuel Sanchez, Sanchez attacks? Um, if he stays on his wheel. Um He's got a lot of experience, this uh, Cat Levens, and um, I, th I think he can manage to keep up with Samuel Sanchez. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but that will be it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's that's everything. He just yeah. sit and sit on the wheel, yeah. not contribute. As uh, Alexander Kolobnev oh, is almost a crash there, <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> Alexander Kolobnev is starting the climb up uh, up here now, uh, eyeing the victory now. So he will. Um, Ride on more adrenaline now. So uh, the peloton are also getting closer now, Jim. So uh, who should we look out for now? Is it Andy Schleck in the yellow jersey like the other days, or maybe Samuel Sanchez? Um, yeah, as we uh, spoke earlier, I mm -hmm. think uh, Samuel Sanchez will be there. Cat Levens, I don't think he will lose any time to uh, Andy Schleck. And uh, Andy Schleck and uh, Contador will probably try to gain some time. So. Um, 
I guess we can expect to see uh, both attacks from Contador and the Shrek, maybe Robert Gersig. So, uh, Jim, what about uh, riders like Philip Schilberg? Is this a stage for him? or? Well, um, it should be. It should be his last chance to get a stage win in this year's tour. But seeing as uh, Alexander Kolobnev is, uh, is most likely going to get the stage win, I don't think he will waste his energy to... Um, to try and get a good position on this uh, stage. Yeah, you're definitely right there. 16 kilometers and over four minutes down to the peloton. As Andy Schleck and Alberto Contador are attacking from the favorites and the peloton. It's Alberto Contador countering on Andy Schleck, but Andy Schleck are countering back. He's closing the gap, and now Andy Schleck is going on Alberto Contador, and uh, Alberto Contador is unable to close the gap. It looks like, but it's the two favorites, the two giants from last year's Tour de France, battling it out up to Cotti Pramatino, Jim, and Alberto Contador. It's looking like he's able to close the gap, but is this the final attack from the GC contenders now? Or did you see anybody else go going there? Because I was unable to see anybody else. Well, I, I think I saw even Basso there, and uh, it seems like Andy Schleck is still gaining a few meters uh, on Alberto Contador, or maybe he's getting back up. It's, it, uh, yeah, it looks like it's he's going back up. and forth, but uh, I think they'll be, uh, we'll be together before the downhill. Yeah, and uh, I'll. Alexander Kolobnev from Katusha is, <laughs> is now over the top and got 5 points and it's 10 kilometers left for him to go now. So this is today's stage winner, we can assume so, right? Uh, yes indeed. And uh, Contador in front of Andy Schleck over the top and it ooh, it didn't look so good there for the... For the Helicopter. <laughs> no, it's, it looks like he had some issues there but let's hope that that thing goes like it should, not, not, no accidents or anything. So uh, 10 kilometers to go for Alberto Contador and Andy Schleck, 3 and 2 points for those guys over Cotti Pramatino and uh, Jim Basso no, also over the top and uh, now we just have to wait and see. Samuel Sanchez is leading uh, Liquid Gases, uh, Ivan Basso there. So, could Samuel Sanchez ride uh, away from everybody else and gain up to Andy and Conta? Well, uh, I would be surprised if uh, Ivan Basso can uh, stay with Samuel Sanchez in that downhill. But uh, let's just focus on. Uh, no, here we can see they, they're almost caught by uh, the Samuel Sanchez group now. Yeah, Samuel Sanchez is attacking on Ivan Basso, it looks like. But uh, this is the guy we should um, say chapeau to today. Chapeau Jim. to Kolobnev. Yes, uh, Katusha rider Alexander Kolobnev gets his stage win here up to Pinerolo over Cotti Primatono. But now we can see that Alberto Contador and Andy Schleck are sprinting. But Samuel Sanchez are closing the gap. But Andy Schleck goes and he's going to get the second place in front of Contador Samuel, and Samuel Sanchez. And it also looked like Cal Evans was able to close the gap there. Yeah, yet again he... Yeah, there you can see, and uh, no time differentials either, so... No. Uh, yet again, he's still 1 minute and 34 seconds behind, so... Uh, it's still looking good for Cal Evans before the uh, final time trial. Yeah, he's in the ultimate position now, not uh, having to use his team to, uh, to control the peloton and... But he's still got um, up to Galbier and up to S. That's course. correct, so before the Alps, looking pretty good for Cal Evans. And Andy Schleck keeps his yellow jersey in front of Kadel, and Bosenhagen is still in the green jersey. And every other jersey and categorizations are still the same. So, Jim, tomorrow... Um, no, uh, no, not the team classification. Yeah, Leopard, as you, as you just said, Leopard is leading that now. So, uh, we are now heading into the Alps tomorrow. Who is going to be the rider? You said Andy Schleck yesterday, but could Kadel maybe be the hero? He, he will at least try his best, and uh, we will definitely see an attack from Contador and perhaps Robert Gessing. Yeah, that was Jim's predictions for the Alps. That was all we had time for today from PCM No Reproduction. My name was uh, Dick Henderson. Alongside me was our expert commentator, Jim Jones. Arrivederci! Arrivederci.